Does force exist? But yeah, of course. I need to move an object and if I apply the force, the object moves. Come on. I'm playing cricket and I hit the ball with the bat and of course it's sixer. I, of course, I'm applying force. I have a badminton racket, I hit a smash, yes. Yes, of course, I'm applying force. I put my hand outside the window when I'm riding a bus or when I'm in a car and my hand moves behind because of the force of the air. Wow. Now don't enjoy that too much because the car coming opposite to you might take that hand away. So let's keep your hands inside your pocket. Don't keep it outside. But anyhow, you get the idea that yes, force exists. No. That's not force. Thinking? Of course you should because if that's not what force is, then what is that? And what is force then? Confused? Well, welcome to the video. And here we are starting a brand new series on Spectrum channel called as the Basic Science. And we will talk about some amazing basic concepts that are probably clear in our mind. If in case you're already enjoying this video, hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel right away for more amazing basic science concepts. Let's get into the video. So let's try to understand what is the general definition of force now. Okay. Now force cannot be defined without using the word interaction. So what is force basically? Two objects interacting with each other. For example, if you need to move an object, I need to interact on the object, I need to act on the object and I need to push it. Or I can pull the object. So pushing and pulling are basically the interactions which can have to actually apply force. Hey na? Or sometimes if in case uh, your parents are angry, you know one more kind of interaction which is not pushing or pulling, it's basically <laughs> hitting. Okay? We all have experienced it, especially during this season of examinations, isn't it? So pushing, pulling or Hitting could be interactions, isn't it? Now, these interactions could be of two basic types. Interactions which require contact. For example, hitting someone, playing football, cricket. Everything requires contact of the bat and the ball, the tennis racket, tennis and the tennis ball, isn't it? So, all these are examples of actually uh, the object being in contact. And these are called as contact forces, wherever contact is involved. Now there are forces where you can apply, there are interactions where you can actually have, uh, you know, forces between those two objects without any contact. For example, classic example is your magnets. Magnets get attracted to each other or they get rippled away from each other without coming in contact with each other. So yeah, so that's a very classic example of non-interactive, non-contact interaction between two objects. One more classic example would be the satellites revolving around the uh, Earth due to the gravitational pull. Uh, satellite is not on the Earth, but still it has a gravitational pull from the Earth, which is making it rotate. So again, an example of non-contact forces, right? Now, think about this. Even though there are contact forces, there are non-contact forces. But if I'm pushing an object or I'm pulling an object, don't you think when you think out loud कि ये सिर्फ तो effect है ना force का आपने किसी चीज को push किया तो object push हुआ अगर आपने किसी चीज को pull किया तो object pull हुआ so all these are effects of force someone slaps you and you feel that effect of force very clearly isn't it so all these are effects of force and what is force the force which you apply isn't it but then Whenever you apply your force, think about this. Whenever you apply your force, you apply your force on an object. Could be contact, non-contact, doesn't matter. But it's applied on an object which has an area. For example, I am pushing myself. I cannot apply the force on my body without utilizing an area here. I'm pushing my hand. I need to apply, an, I'm applying the force on an area. I'm pulling my hand. I need to apply this on an area. Even if there is a non-contact force, the magnetic force of one magnet is applying the magnetic force on another magnet on an area, on the area of the magnet. The satellite rotating around the gravitation of the Earth is being pulled by the Earth, applied on the satellite's body. So whenever you're applying a force, a body or an area is involved. And the force applied on an area is not force is something which we call in physics 
or science called as pressure it's not force it's pressure now think we apply force every day for everything or do we apply pressure because there is nothing on which we apply a force of which does not involve an area with that question in your mind i'll end the video and if in case you have any thoughts about it and if in case you think ki sir this sab mo ma aata kya ab tak kya seekh rahe the hum if that triggered in you let me know in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video until then this is abhishek signing off for today enjoy your life stay home stay safe and stay strong do let me know do you guys want me to continue basic science series or not i'll be waiting to see you guys in the comments and i really appreciate it in case you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you get notified about all these amazing videos coming ahead until then peace